And welcome back to the Learn to Code podcast. Today I'm going to be working on uh, a client website. It's like this, I believe. Um, I'm going to be building a, Word, a WordPress website here. You can actually see it if you are watching this on YouTube. Uh, it's a very simple uh, theme. I just installed the WordPress website. Um, I am waiting for information to be added to the to the site. To I am still waiting for documentation and even some images. Um, I have I had been sent a PDF with some um, uh, design work which is in progress. Uh, none of that none of those pictures are final. The, the logos, uh, the, the icons, the pictures are not final, so um, anyway. So I know that I'm not a web developer yet, um, since I do have the background for, for programming, uh, a lot of people just assume that I already know how to build websites. Uh, that's not necessarily true, but that doesn't matter really. Uh, what does matter is that uh, I need to get the job done, and uh, this is a fiber job, uh, may I say. So, what do you do when you need to create a website and you don't really know how to actually... Uh, you don't know CSS uh, very well, you don't know HTML, you don't know um, even JavaScript, uh, PHP, whatever you may need. So. What I do most of the time is to basically, I do depend on this, uh, on a team for WordPress, which is not only uh, a team, a, a, a basic team, it's basically a system that allows me to move elements through the website um, through a drag and drop uh, usage. In this case, um, we do have um, Divi here. Let me sh show you a little bit of this. Building a website is kind of like painting a masterpiece, except it's nothing like painting a masterpiece. See, when you paint something, you can actually see what you're doing. So when you draw a little house, look, there's a little house. But when you're building a website in WordPress, you're working on the back end with an interface that's built for content creation, not design. Plus, you have no idea how anything will actually look on the site. Hard to create a masterpiece that way. Masterpiece? Puh. Now there's Divi. With Divi, you can create your WordPress website on the actual website in real time. So if you want to add a widget or text, go ahead, add it. Everything is drag and drop and totally customizable by shape, size, font, color, and with over 40 different content elements, there's nothing you can't add. So now, building a website really is like painting a masterpiece. Only a whole lot easier. Divi, the fastest, easiest way to build beautiful websites. So basically, DB is um, a special team that allows me to build um, visual websites very easily. Um, I am skipping the entire process of actually learning how to develop websites. Uh, yeah, the thing is that most websites what, um, that I had created are basically just WordPress websites anyway. Um, nothing fancy, I'm not required to add. Uh, a, a chat or a video chat uh, feature on the website. Uh, I, if I need to incorporate um, a virtual uh, an eShop, I can do that uh, through Shopify. So I don't really have to design or may I say develop anything. Uh, if if the only thing I want is an actual website, so. Uh, obviously, you learn how to develop uh, for the web. You are going to have a lot of more um, 
opportunities open to you um, in the job market and obviously you're going to be allowed to create whatever you actually want um, however i know that web developers uh, i guess that at my level um, i can actually just download this team and basically use that uh, if you are if you're like me and you only want um, to create websites um, that look great and that basically you can maintain easily uh, wordpress is the thing uh, it may be um, the content management system for you um, obviously you are going to be look upon looked down upon uh, from actual web developers for the simple fact that um, you are not programming anything really you are just using the theme or the or wordpress itself um, uh, and i may say that uh, i don't really care as, as long as i am able to develop a website and have my clients happy um, i guess that's all that actually matters and wordpress alone with the free uh, with the free teams is more than enough to convince anyone to actually hire you uh, to make his web his corporate website so, and you can do a lot of things with with wordpress you may be even you can actually do a lot of things with wordpress and avoid building everything from scratch so you are basically um getting to the point now that you don't really need to to be a software developer to to have to be the administrator of an actual website this is a very powerful tool because um, you don't need to hire an experienced programmer for you to be able to maintain your corporate website and i may say that a lot of websites for bigger companies are done using wordpress so that's what I'm going to be using here. Um, I really enjoy WordPress because it allows me to create something very quickly, um, functional, um, and my client can actually uh, see the, the WordPress website on his phone or her phone. And obviously the themes that uh, we are getting today are, are, um, are sensitive enough to adapt themselves to to a phone or a tablet or even a um, a monitor screen for a regular PC, you know uh, it does have a name that I don't remember right now. Um, um, okay, never mind. So I'm going to be working um, this the next this week on this. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is to get uh, some pictures uh, some icons maybe uh, a lot of me images about the school because this is a website for a school so it's basically uh, uh, an internet billboard in in my case uh, because it's not going to have uh, uh, too much of functionality so it's going to be basically just uh, an information website and no interaction with the actual user is going to be required so maybe in the future um, if the website is getting a certain degree of success i guess i'm going to be asked to create maybe to figure out a way for me to be able to check my uh, so for the parents to actually be able to see uh, the grades or their, or of their children inside the school maybe that and um, probably um, internet uh, the payment can be done on the website too maybe i may like to do some research on that uh, i'm not really sure if um, i do have to do something special here since i live in mexico uh, yet i believe that uh, I can maybe I can just uh, find out a, a a plugin a plugin solution for getting payments via credit or debit cards maybe 
and maybe I'm going to be able to process payment that way. Uh, most probably I'm going to need a paid um, plugin for that. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm going to be working on. Uh, I may like to see <coughs> uh, what you may think about it. Uh, obviously, there is going to be a lot of people that may argue that I should actually learn actual web development. And I do agree. Yet at this, at this point, I am focusing my efforts on learning Java. And that has proved to be... Uh, a very big endeavor actually uh, because Java is very deep uh, many people may say that it's simple enough to learn in a couple months uh, yet the truth is that after a year of learning Java I am still not confident enough to create something really big and all I have been able to do are command line uh, programs on it in the past episode, I was working with um, with a Hello World program, and and installing uh, some tools on my Ubuntu installation. Uh, so I guess I'm going to be working on my current WordPress website today and tomorrow, and see if I can get any uh, some money that way. Well. Um, I'm going to be cutting this episode short, yet I'm going to be uh, trying to do this daily and yet to know something interesting for the next day, I guess. Thank you for listening, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe and click the notification icon there if you want to listen to me rambling about something about uh, learning to code and the work I do on my home. So thank you for coming in and goodbye.